Hey, this is Warren Redlick. I've been getting a lot of pushback from Lucid Motors fans who think Lucid has crossed the threshold and I should now drop all my objections and say how wonderful Lucid is. We're not there yet. Let's talk about it. Are you ready? Let's go. This is the big news from a few days ago. Lucid Motors is putting out news saying that the EPA has rated them for 520 miles of range. I'm going to get into the specifics of this claim. The EPA website does show 520 miles of range for the Lucid Air Dream Edition R, which is the range version with 19 inch wheels. It does say that. So, and the New York Times says it, a lot of other media say it. Here's how Lucid describes it. Lucid describes it as an absolute triumph of efficiency that they've achieved 520 miles of range. I don't think it's that simple. I'm gonna get into what I found in the EPA website, the EPA documents that were filed by Lucid, and we'll see where we go with it. There's a lot more to talk about here, but let's start with Lucid's claims about their range of their vehicle and their efficiency. So this is from the EPA website, and you can see various vehicles that Lucid Motors is has filed with the EPA from the Lucid Air G Touring all-wheel drive, which we don't know when they're gonna deliver that vehicle. We don't know when they're gonna deliver any of these vehicles, but we've got Lucid Air Dream R Edition and uh, Lucid Air Dream P Edition. P is for performance, R is for range. The R Edition with 19 inch wheels, which is up here, this is the one that they are claiming will do 520 miles of range EPA rated. What was filed with the EPA was not this vehicle. The document that I saw was the Lucid Air Dream P with 21 inch wheels, and I'll show you that. But specifically, this is the Lucid Air Dream R all wheel drive with 19 inch wheels, and you can see right at the bottom here, 520 miles of range. That's the claim, so let's get into it. So if you go on the EPA website, you can see documents that are filed by different manufacturers. We're gonna look now at Lucid's filing. We're also gonna look at Tesla's filings for the Model S Plaid. And I'm briefly going to show you something from Rivian as well, just to get into it. But this is the first page of the Lucid filing, and you can see it covers those vehicles that we saw. Lucid Air Dream Performance, Dream Range, and Lucid Air Grand Touring with 19-inch wheels and 21-inch wheels. And that's what they submitted to the EPA. The EPA was supposed to respond by September 15th. Around that date, Lucid came out and said they were certified to have this range. Now, this is a key part of the filing. There's a lot of information here, but the columns are the Air Dream P for performance, the Air Dream R for range, and the Air GT for grand touring. You can see the different motor power. The performance one has a 370 kilowatt motor in the front and a 459 kilowatt motor in the rear. The Dream R edition has a less powerful motor at the front and actually a more powerful motor at the rear. And the Air Grand Touring has less powerful motors front and rear. You can see rated horsepower 1111 for the P edition, 933 for the R edition. All three of them have 22 battery modules. All three of them have the same number of cells. Nominal energy capacity. The P and the R have 118 kilowatt hours of quote nominal battery energy capacity. There's a flaw in here that we're gonna get to. For some reason, Grand Touring with the same number of cells and the same number of modules only has 112 or nominal battery energy capacity. That is not explained anywhere that I could find in the filing. I'm not an expert at reading these filings, but I don't see that explained anywhere. Let's go deeper. And notice really quick here that for the Dream R and Dream P, nominal battery energy capacity is listed as 118 kilowatt hours. 118 kilowatt hours, stick with that number. Not that long ago, Motor Trend tested out a Dream R model, quote tested, it was a artificial test that was supervised by Lucid. It wasn't a genuine road test. And they said it has a 113 kilowatt hour battery. So already we have a conflict. How big is the battery in the Lucid Air? Is it 113 kilowatt hours? Is it 118 kilowatt hours? I'm gonna show you it's a much bigger battery than that. Now the vehicle that was tested, that was shown up in the documents it's actually tested was the Lucid Air P for performance edition. It was not the Lucid Air R, which is the range edition but those two are supposedly have the same battery pack. Let's take a closer look at the numbers on here. This is the larger one. Let me show you that this looks like large so you can just see it. You can see battery energy capacity, 150, 924 volts. I'll show you a little bit more here in a second. I got a better shot of it. But here you can see 924 volt pack and this battery energy capacity over here is 150. That is not 150 kilowatt hours. That I'm told by a source is 150 amp hours. And this makes sense to me. And I'll show you how that 
works out. So 924 volts, 150 amp hours. On the internet, you can find a calculator that converts amp hours to watt hours. So when you take 150 amp hours and 924 volts and you calculate it out, you get a 138 to 139 kilowatt hour pack. Not 113 kilowatt hours, not 118 kilowatt hours. The battery pack that was tested to get the range claim that they made for the plat for the performance edition, which is the same supposed battery as the range edition, was 139 kilowatt hour, basically 140 kilowatt hour pack. So the claim that they're doing this with 113 kilowatt hour pack appears to be a lie. That's a lie. We'll talk more about that in a second. Now, just for comparison, this is the Tesla Model S Plaid. This is what their filing looks like. You can see 410 voltage and 256. I'm going to show you that better here. It is a 410 volt pack and it has 256 amp hours. 410 volts, 256 amp hours. You can see when you convert that, you get a 105 kilowatt hour pack. So the Plaid Model S on the same testing. And by the way, I don't see a Model S long range, the, the next generation refresh Model S. I don't see that they tested that. They only tested the Plaid that I can see in the documents. If there's another document there somewhere, I don't see it. But presumably the Plaid Model S and the Long Range Model S have the same battery pack. I can't say for sure, but that's a 105 kilowatt hour pack. So Lucid is using a 139 kilowatt hour pack and Tesla Model S is using a 105 kilowatt hour pack. That's a really big difference. That's like 35% larger, 36, 37% larger. I forget the number. It's, it's, a, it's at least 30% larger. And just really quick, I did the same calculation for Rivian. Rivian has a filing. They have 360 amp hours and 400 volts. That works out to 144 kilowatt hour pack for Rivian. We're going to talk more about Rivian quickly. I just want to show that you can do this for things other than Lucid and Tesla, and you can see these kind of numbers. Another striking thing from the filing about Lucid is the curb weight. You can see it in the lower left. I'm going to show you a zoom on that right here. The curb weight on the Lucid Air performance edition with I think it was 21 inch wheels is 5200 pounds curb weight 5200 pounds curb weight well what's the curb weight on the Model S Plaid you can see the same type of document here and the Model S Plaid has a curb weight of 4765 let's compare those two Lucid Air has a curb weight of 5203 pounds the Plaid Model S has a 4765 pound curb weight the Lucid Air is a heavy beast this is a heavy car there's a consequence of cramming 140 kilowatt hours of batteries into your vehicle. Your vehicle weighs a lot more. That's a 400 pound weight advantage for the, more than 400 pound weight advantage for the Plaid. But wait till you see the Model S long range. The Model S long range has a 4561 pound pack. It's like a 650 pound difference. But the Model S long range weighs 650 pounds less than the Lucid vehicle. I don't think the Lucid Dream R weighs much less than the Dream P. So the amount of extra weight that Lucid has to carry around does not make your vehicle more efficient. Though the numbers don't completely work out, it doesn't completely make sense. Now, just real quick, you can see here, this is the vehicle that was tested in the documents. This is the Lucid Air Dream P all-wheel drive with 21-inch wheels. 21-inch wheels gets less range. The Performance Edition has a more powerful motor, so it gets less range. And this tested out, they claim anyway, to 451 miles of total range. I did not see that this vehicle was actually tested. I did not see that the Dream R was actually tested. This is the only vehicle that was actually tested. Same with Model S. I only saw that the Plaid was tested. I didn't see that the long range refresh version was tested. And just really quick on curb weight for Rivian. Rivian showed a curb weight of 6,949 pounds. 6,949 pounds. This is a beast. 6,949 pounds. So the Rivian is very, very heavy. Okay, so let's move on here. I did a little spreadsheet and I'm comparing the Plaid Model S with 21 inch wheels to the Air Dream with 21 inch wheels. I put together a comparison of the Plaid Model S with 21 inch wheels versus the Air Dream, the Lucid Air Dream Edition performance version with 21 inch wheels. This is roughly apples to apples, right? And then I also looked at the Air Dream R Edition versus the Model S long range refresh. But looking first at Plaid, we've got 256 amp hours, 410 volts. We get a calculated 105 kilowatt hour pack versus a 138.6 kilowatt hour pack. 
Plaid Model S has 390 miles of range. The Air Dream Edition has a claimed 451 miles of range. In terms of efficiency, range per kilowatt hour, the Plaid has 3.71 miles per kilowatt hour. The Air Dream P Edition has 3.25 miles per kilowatt hour. So the Plaid is much more efficient. It's also much more powerful. It's also faster. It has a lot of advantages. So the idea that Lucid has come up with a vehicle that's better, at least on the performance side, does not fit with the facts. Same thing with the Air Dream R or Range Edition with 19 inch wheels. Same pack information, 138.6 kilowatt hours. They're claiming a range of 520. That works out to 3.75 miles per kilowatt hour. When you look at the Model S long range with its 105 kilowatt hour pack and its 405 mile range, it's more efficient, 3.86 miles per kilowatt hour. So Lucid has some, Lucy has some splaining to do. You can see the numbers right here. You can go on the EPA website. You can pull this stuff down. You can do your own calculations. So for all the Lucid fans who have been harassing me in my YouTube comments and on Twitter and saying, aha, Warren, see, they've done it. No, they haven't done it yet. First of all, you crammed 140 kilowatt hour pack in there to get the range that you're claiming. The, the 520 mile range vehicle was not actually tested at, with the EPA. It's not really the EPA testing. It's an outside lab that does the testing. I don't know how they came up with the calculations that got them 520 miles of range. They have not delivered a vehicle to a customer yet to demonstrate that this range claim is anywhere near accurate. Tesla has delivered Plaid Model S's to people. It has delivered long range Model S's to people. They have been driving them. I have not heard any complaints. I'm sure that it depends on how you drive it. You're not going to get the same range, but people are generally happy with them. Lucid Motors has not delivered a vehicle to a customer yet. They announced that they're in production. They said, and they're producing vehicles, but what they said was the vehicles they're producing are for their showrooms, they're for their sales staff, they're for their team. They have not indicated yet that they are producing vehicles for customers. So far, no vehicles produced for customers, not even in production for customers. They have not delivered a vehicle to a customer yet. There's all kinds of claims out there. Somebody was telling me, oh, they delivered 200 vehicles to internal employees. Well, why aren't we seeing a lot more Lucid Air sightings on the road? There's a lot of, a lot of misleading information coming out of Lucid. We, what we know is they claimed to Motor Trend that they had 113 kilowatt hour pack. They claim to the EPA that 118 kilowatt hour pack nominal, but practically speaking, we can do the math and we can see that they're using 139 kilowatt hour pack in the Lucid Air Dream Edition. So their claims are iffy all the way around. Now, with that said, I am still hopeful that Lucid proves me wrong, that Lucid actually delivers vehicles to customers this year and that the vehicles prove to be good vehicles. I don't think in the long run that Lucid is in great shape. They have a lot of problems. They're spending a lot of money. They burned a lot of cash on this recent event. They're burning a lot of cash in other ways. They're pretty clearly going to burn through their cash pile by the end of this year or somewhere close. And they're going to need to do a new funding round to raise more money to keep the operations going. And their business plan, which I've discussed in previous videos, requires them to sell large numbers of vehicles at an average selling price of over $100,000 for a long time, and I don't believe the market's going to support that. So what we don't know is, when they produce vehicles ready for customer delivery, how many customers are actually going to buy them? Would you buy a Lucid Air Dream Edition performance model when you can buy a Tesla Long Range Model S for something like $70,000 less? That is basically as fast, has more storage room. The trunk on the Lucid Air is actually surprisingly small. There's a lot of little quirks about it. They have a big trunk. They got a small trunk. There's all kind. I don't know where these batteries fit in. I don't know whether the the rear seat is the the rear. I don't know whether the footwell in the rear is higher because they got to accommodate additional batteries. Where are they cramming in this 140 kilowatt hour pack? There's a lot of questions that remain to be answered here. So I'm not like I want to be wrong. I want Lucid Air. I want Lucid Motors to prove me wrong. I want the Lucid Air to succeed. I want it to displace the Mercedes S-Class. I want it to displace the BMW 7 Series. I want to see Lucid succeed because electric vehicles are better than gas-powered vehicles. I would love for this to work. But everything I see, I continue to see misleading information, obvious, if you dig, obvious lies about what they're doing. They are not more efficient than the Tesla Model S. They're not. They're claiming they're more efficient, and they're not. They have a massive weight problem. Their vehicles are too heavy. We don't know how long their battery packs are going to last. Are they, 
Do they have the right kind of battery management system? We, there's a lot of details about Lucid that we don't know yet. And of course, they don't have Tesla's supercharging network. How is that going to work out? A lot of problems. And will the customer, if you build it, will they come? Well, if you build your Lucid Air Dream Edition, will you sell the 500 or so you said you were going to sell? Will people buy the Grand Touring? Are there customers there for the vehicles that you're going to make? These are a lot of questions. They don't have a lot of orders. Cybertruck has like 1.4 million orders. Lucid Air has like 13,000 orders. And those are refundable deposits. People may walk away and say, yeah, now that I've seen it, I don't want it. They may not be able to sell the cars that they're making. I hope they prove me wrong. I hope they deliver. But so far, right now, I don't see it. I am eager to be proven wrong. I have a bet with Ricky from 2-Bit Da Vinci that Lucid will not deliver 100 vehicles this year, or if they do deliver vehicles, 100 vehicles this year, they won't have 450 miles of range. Now, at least as far as the EPA is concerned, what we've seen, they're going to have more than 450 miles of range, but will they deliver 100 vehicles to customers this year? It's an open question. Let's see them do it. I hope they succeed. I hope they prove me wrong, but I'm not eating my words yet. I still think that Lucid may be a fraud. It's an elaborate fraud. If you dig into the numbers, it just doesn't work. All my videos before explain it. Nothing has happened yet to prove me wrong in any of those previous videos. But it is promising that they got these EPA numbers, even though I think they're cheating the numbers a little bit. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they do by the end of this year. Let's see what they do next year. And let's hope that Lucid succeeds. I'm rooting for them. Believe it or not, I'm rooting for them. I want them to succeed. I want to see a world of electric vehicles replacing fossil fuel vehicles so we don't have oil spills like we just had in California. So we're not breathing pollutants from tailpipes. Let's make it happen. As always, thank you to the Vasa Law Firm in Sweden and all my Patreon supporters. Please support this channel on Patreon, link in the description below. Check out my other videos, check out the t-shirts, the machine that builds the machine. Is Lucid building a machine that's gonna build the machines? We'll see. And thank you so much for watching.